Here's a really quick duck recipe for you. And as you can see, on the bench, there's hardly any ingredients. And this only takes five to eight minutes to cook. To start with, we need to prepare our duck. Now, I've got two duck breasts here, and I'm going to remove the skin. Usually, when I'm cooking with duck breast, I leave the skin on because I want it to be crispy and crunchy. But I'm going to transform these two duck breasts into scallopinis, just like you would do for veal, so thin pieces of duck. First, pat the duck dry in some paper toweling. And then with your hands, you want to slowly tease it away, as I'm doing here, because you don't want to ruin or damage the duck breast underneath it. This duck fat has loads of flavour, and if you render it off, you can use the duck fat to flavour your potatoes or vegetables when you're roasting them. So I'll keep that to the side. Now let's do this other duck. As I'm taking this off, you can see how lean duck breast actually is. Once this is off, this is as lean as chicken breast. So it is a great alternative to change things up in your repertoire of recipes. Now let's start to scallopini these. So I'm just going to turn it off, take the tenderloin off, and then with a sharp knife, we're just going to cut these in half. So you can see I'm just almost butterflying it and then just with nice, confident strokes, cutting them in half and you can see that we've got two very thin pieces of duck. So these are going to take no time at all to cook. So four scallopinis and we've got two of these tenderloins. I never like to waste these because these are so soft when they're cooked. Now I need some olive oil in the pan and this is on a high heat because we're flash frying this meat. Also to ensure that this is nice and even, just use the palm of your hand just to gently press down on the duck just like you were doing schnitzels. And then the last one. Great. Now I'm going to season this with a good amount of salt on each side. You can add a little bit of smoked paprika at this stage or even a little bit of chilli is fantastic. A little bit of pepper. And now into the pan. Now this is all about flash frying, so it's going to take one minute on each side. So the four pieces can go in. And I'm going to leave these tenderloins to the last minute because they don't need any time at all. I'll also season the other side of the duck with some salt and pepper again. And now let's talk about the ingredients in the sauce. These are porcini mushrooms, dried porcini mushrooms that I've rehydrated in some warm water. Now I'm just going to squeeze the excess water out of these porcini mushrooms. And you really don't need too much porcini, they're quite strong once they've been rehydrated. So once you've drained them, you can just give them a rough chop. And I'm going to turn these over and then add the mushrooms because it's all going in the same pan. Let's have a look. Oh, perfect. Lovely and golden around the sides there. Absolutely beautiful. Now I'm going to add the tenderloin and I'm going to add the mushrooms. Now these tenderloins need to be turned now and just warm up those mushies. Also some capers for some saltiness. You know, there's bold flavours. With duck, you do need these bold flavours. Now some rosemary. Now rosemary also has a strong flavour, so I'm going to add one whole big branch to this because I want to taste it in here, and this can cook away with it. It's going to flip the duck one more time so it cooks quite evenly. Oh, it smells so good. And now I'm going to deglaze the pan. Once you start to smell the rosemary and the porcini mushrooms and everything's golden brown, masala goes in. Masala is a sweet, fortified wine. Again, goes really well with the mushrooms and the duck. So just a small amount in there. And some of the liquid from the porcini mushrooms. And now I know this duck is cooked because that's been one minute on each side. So I'm going to remove the duck now because I still want it to be slightly pink in the centre. Beautiful. And now I'm going to add some stock. Now I've got some duck stock, but you could use some chicken stock if you like, or you could just use this mushroom water, which is like a vegetable stock. Okay, duck stock can go in now. 
and I'm just going to allow this to bubble away, thicken up, and then I'm finally going to finish this sauce with a little bit of butter because it's going to make it so glossy. Now this sauce has reduced significantly, so it's time to add the butter. Always add cold butter to a sauce and ensure it's not bubbling away rapidly. You want just simmering, just like it is here. If it's bubbling away too much, then this butter may split and it's not going to do the job it's supposed to, which is to transform this thin sauce to a thick sauce that's really glossy. See how shiny that's become? Now, if there are any juices left on the plate, just pour them in because that's, again, instant stock from the meat. And we'll just swirl that pan one more time. And that's it. That's how easy it is to do this dish. Now, I'm just going to arrange the duck scallopini on another plate, a bright, fun plate. Perfect. And don't forget those little tenderloins. They need to go on the plate too. And then this sauce can be just spooned over the top. And if you want to, you could actually put the meat back into the sauce to warm up a little bit. Because this sauce is so hot, just by spooning it over, it instantly heats it up again. A few more of those mushrooms, more of that sauce around the plate there. Never enough sauce, I say. <laughs> and just for a garnish, I'm going to place that rosemary on top. This is such a great way to demonstrate to you that duck doesn't always have to be cooked with the skin. By taking it off and thinly slicing like this, you can have a really fast minute steak-like dish, which took a maximum of eight minutes. And the flavour in here is incredible. It's big, it's bold. It's everything that I like on a cold night. All I need now is a glass of Pinot Noir, which goes so very well with duck, and maybe a bowl of pasta, I think.